Now, celebrating all things cool in Jacksonville, a local show with a spotlight on the 904 with hosts Eden Candle and Mark Payton, featuring amazing stories from every neighborhood with Rance Adams. This is River City Live. Welcome to River City Live. Wow, wow, wow. We have so many guests today. <laughs> Our green room is exploding. We had to bring everybody on in here. So that's okay, though. That's a lot of fun. I like company. It is. We're going to have a really fun stack show. We always do, but there's even more energy today. So I'm excited to, to get to it and have all these great guests talk. Yeah, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff, including some ways to keep everybody busy over spring break. If you're in one of the counties that's just starting spring break, we exhausted parents are the ones who just finished <laughs> our spring break. So that's, you're looking at the three, they're like, oh gosh, you don't have to go to school, but you can't stay here. Everybody get out of the house. So, okay, so we're going to help you out with some some ideas and maybe some getaway ideas for the summertime as well. But right now, let's let's kick off with a really fun story. Just imagine this you are potentially going to start dating somebody and they hand you a resume yeah you know we're always looking out for our viewers and most of our viewers are at home married <laughs> you know so maybe, maybe this isn't the Some best route to go but this is a great story last week we talked about how instagram was a new way to kind of break the ice and get someone's phone number right well now it was a student at michigan state and he came up with the genius idea of actually making a resume in order to get dates so what happened is he asked a girl, and a girl said, well, I don't know, maybe if you had a resume, I would think about it. <laughs> and boom, there it is. Look at the bottom. He even has a pie chart of how he breaks up his time. <laughs> and the objective, it reads, to find a honey with a rockin' family who enjoys sushi, adventures, and good movies. So there you go. Oh, and man. how this went viral, a woman was posting, uh, like, it was basically to find a roommate for somebody and a date at the same time. So he decided, hey... I'll put my resume in on that and see what happens. And it just picked up traction and it got all over the place. So there you go. Times are a changing. When you were in college, though, were you really that interested in what your prospective date's family was like? Okay, no. That, no, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. You're not seeing that far into the future, are you? Okay. I don't think at college. But like, here's... It will come up at some point, right? But that's a little early. That's okay, like let me ask you this. Down I got, no, I have a good question for you. You ready for this one? Right. If asked right now, what would your significant other say you lied about on your resume? Your dating oh, wow. resume. Wow. My dating resume? My, my resume you, my, is like, non-existent. If, if, no, I mean, just no, I pretend, pretend, I know you're saying, like, pretend you're you made a resume. You're okay. What would, what would he, she say you lied about? Everything? <laughs> I don't know. Because my husband I, I, continually tells me all the time, he's like, you lied. You made it sound like you like to go watch IU basketball. Uh, oh. And I was like, yeah, I did lie. I was, you know, yeah. trying to, trying to I, I'm like, you. did you not read the disclaimer? <laughs> you have to turn it over. And then, yeah. you, then you saw yeah. the real marketing. Once, once you put a ring on it, I'm out of here. Yeah, right. so, the yeah. rules change. Yeah. Yeah. So all of a sudden, true. all of a sudden, it went from go Hoosiers to me time. Yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, no resume is needed if you are getting your date randomly, and that's what's happening at one school. Yeah, a high school in uh, Freeport, Illinois. They have this thing that's been going on since 1926 where they put all the girls' names, juniors and senior girls' names in a hat, and the boys pick their names out of a hat, and that is your prospective prom date. Now, uh, they haven't had too many issues. It could be interesting, though, if you get hooked up with an ex, but I don't really... I think I would want to get down like that. Uh, one of the students said it's cool because nobody gets left out. Everybody gets to go to prom. But, I mean, really? I, I see that everybody's included in prom. So that's the nice part of it. And you could only imagine, because they've been doing this, I think, since, like, what, like the 30s or something. It's been a really... 1926, yeah, yeah. so it's been a really long tradition they've been doing it. And they just embrace it. it it's, sure. like, it's like you what they know. do. And I think once everybody goes, you kind of find if you had a, a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, you know what I mean? But it's just, everybody's included. And I think that's the overall vibe. So it is working there. The students like it. Will it work everywhere? I don't know. That's how many, I, I want to know how many people are in their class. Cause in, I graduated with like 900 students. Yeah. So I can't even imagine how that would work. So maybe they've got a smaller little. I know yeah. a little bit about Freeport. It is a smaller community, uh -huh. you know? So I think the school is a little bit smaller. So maybe that's why everybody kind of gels together. I don't well, know. What about you? Like from I, a woman's perspective, It just I'm depends. Proud. I feel like that's one of those things you'll answer one way if you have a date and another if you, if you don't. Really, seriously. Right. But we do have a high school girl in, in the room with us. I know you can't see her, but Kate, is that cool? Could uh, somebody randomly pick your prom date for you and you'd be okay with that? No, not yeah, at all. Not at all. So, okay. <laughs> 
So this I, is the new yeah. age, though. The women or the girls can ask the guys, or you guys don't even need. It. It's like we're going to have our girl party. We don't need you, fellas. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, from prom comes college, and <gasps> the story makes me hyperventilate just a little bit. Vanguard Investments used some data. Um, from college board trends to tell us that the price of college is going up by an average of 6%. So you guys have it worse than me, obviously, but I, I still have a couple more to go. So in the next 5 to 18 years, here's what we're going to be looking at. So, all right, in five years, a public college could cost 23 3 a year. Wow. That's 93 93 for four years, but a private school obviously is much more. But you want to think about that in terms of it's going to be going up 6%, 6%. It's all exponential. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you guys are looking at $10 million. <laughs> Scholarships. If, if you don't have the money, it is $10 million. <laughs> it's too much is too much. It doesn't really matter. It's never too early to start planning. I'm just looking at some of these numbers. And 121000 for a year of private college. By the time we're looking yeah, in about 18 years. So, so from 5 to 18, it almost doubles. Well, that's, yeah, compound. Yeah, that's so that's same, a lot of yeah. money. Now, it does count room and board and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It's funny, they always say that, like, oh, there's a value there. You know, kids got to eat, but it's still a ton of money. Yeah. So that yeah, is scary. Yeah, the room and board does not balance out what you're paying. I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, but you know, half a million dollars. And will there be jobs for these kids? Well, that's when, the other part, too, when they get out. What are they... You know, like, what can they do? Like, what is their skill set in the, the that economy, you know, mm -hmm. that far down the road? True, true, true. It's all scary stuff. And things always take a turn for the more technolo technological and delivery seems to be the wave of the future when it comes to doing your shopping these days. Yeah. yeah. So Costco, you know, everybody knows Costco. You could go there and, you know, you're talking about spending money in college. Well, you could go to Costco and save money. Well, they teamed up with SHIP. And basically what SHIP does is it helps to bring the groceries to your house. And this is interesting. By 2025, 20% of all people will buy their groceries online. So that's a, a big major trend that will happen. Right now, they're going to start this service of a grocery delivery system. They're going to start it in Tampa. It's only $99 annually. Um, and they're going to deliver the groceries within a one hour window. So that's really convenient. It doesn't cost a lot of money. So the only thing is, though, like, let's just take a step back. Do you guys like to grocery shop? Because, like, I don't mind, like, you know, walking around, picking my produce. You know, like, do you guys we like We had this discussion in the back yeah. earlier, and, I mean, it's not that so much that I love to grocery shop, but let's just imagine that everything is delivered. We're already doing this with department stores, your technology, your electronic stuff like right. that. You never leave the house. You never interact with a human being. And I mean, all right, so maybe and nobody's really that social when you're in the grocery store, but you know the occasional nod or smile. It's like, all right, the world is, exists. You, you know? guys are missing the biggest part of this, the samples. If you can't go into Costco, <laughs> how are you going to sample everything? Point made, that point is true. Made. I mean, to me, that's like the big thing. When you go to Costco, you go hungry. Yeah. And you just keep going back like you're a different person and getting <laughs> yeah. more stuff. You, you part your hair the other way. <laughs> yes, is that what you do? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> the little diva when we go is the only thing is like, can we get a sample? All right, we don't even have to buy anything. We just make the rounds. All right, cool. Good yeah. job. And go put, go put your glasses on. Right. We're going back. Going back for more. And you know, Fridays is like wine sample day, I'm just saying. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, so there you go. That's another way to keep the kids busy. Can you get that through the online service? I doubt it. Probably. I don't know. But anyway, all right.